Chairman of the Drivers and Conductors Central Association, Mustafa Mayambala, represented over 5,000 taxi owners and operators in court. They successfully filed a petition challenging the 120,000 shilling monthly fees Kampala Capital City Authority has been levying on each commuter taxi per month. Lawyers of the petitioners from Matovu and company advocates argued that the fee as well as the interim committee working on behalf of Kampala Capital City Authority to enforce it were illegal since they were not sanctioned by parliament and the Kampala Capital City Authority Council. Citing Article 51 of the Kampala Capital City Authority Act, presiding Judge Benjamin Kavito of the High Court Civil Division concurred with the petitioners that the taxi fee and the interim committee were illegal. He ordered an immediate halt of the collections until council approves the taxi levy. <laughs> He also called for the disbandment of the committee and the appointment, one with councillors and members as provided by the Kampala Capital City Authority Act. The judge also ordered for a clear definition of the role of the authority in the city's taxi business. Court also ruled that no more such taxis be remitted to Kampala Capital City Authority until the law is followed in determining the tax rate. But court rejected a plea by the petitioners for compensation for what they have paid since 8th March when the fee came into force, saying the money was used for the common good. <laughs> After the ruling, the jubilant taxi driver and conductors celebrated in a procession from the court in Akasero to the new taxi park in the city centre. They denounced Kampala Capital City Authority Executive Director Jennifer Musisi, accusing her of tormenting them. <laughs> Despite police intervention to stop the procession, the group carried on and finally made their way back to their workplace, the taxi park, to deliver the good news to their colleagues. <laughs> This ruling is going to end the conflicts between drivers and uh, between drivers and SCC. Moments later, Kampala Capital City Authority Executive Director Jennifer Musisi called an impromptu media briefing and said the authority will abide by the court ruling. But she lamented that it will significantly affect Kampala Capital City Authority operations and ultimately service delivery. In the absence of this approval by the authority, we are going to abide by the court decision and we are not going to collect this money. This report was compiled by Kabale Ivan Elvis for NBS Television.